Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to talk about DS top screens and repairing them and replacing them. I've done a lot of DS repairs over the years mainly on DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, original 3DS but I think this carries across pretty much the entire DS range with the exception of the original 2DS because it doesn't have a folding clamshell design. And one of the most difficult repairs on a DS is replacing the top screen. <laughs> most repairs on a DS, be it whether that's a DSi, DS Lite, are fairly straightforward. I mean, it's a small device, so anything you need to repair on it is going to be a little bit intricate. But with a bit of patience, most repairs are quite easy to do, except replacing the top screen. And it's the most awful repair job that I ever have to do. And I've done quite a few of them. and. It, I just don't like doing it. With the bottom screen, it's a little LCD with a small piece of ribbon cable fixed to the motherboard. That That's pretty much the same on all of the DS's. With the top screen, we've got a, a top LCD with a ribbon cable, but that ribbon cable is quite long and it needs to attach to the bottom half of the DS. And to do so, it is fed through the hinge and it is an absolute nightmare of a repair. And it really shouldn't be that difficult. Nintendo could have designed a different way of doing it. I know that the top screen has to connect to the bottom half and pretty much the only way of doing that is to feed a ribbon cable down through the hinge and into the bottom, well into the motherboard. But to make replacing the top screen easier they could have put a small board in the top or a join somewhere where you join the two cables together so you had the top LCD with a small ribbon cable and it either went into a board uh, with a second ribbon cable coming off that would feed down and then you wouldn't need to completely dismantle a DS just to replace the top screen. All you would need to do is undo the top screen which is fairly easy. Uh, on the DS Lite it is just four screws in the top half uh, and the back slides off uh, and you've got access to the top screen but that's pretty pointless because the ribbon cable is fed all the way through the hinges and, and you need to dismantle the entire bottom shell to get the ribbon cable out. Whereas if they'd have made a join somewhere either via a, a circuit board or a just join the two cables somehow uh, you could replace the top screen without touching the bottom half at all and it would have made repairs a lot easier. There really isn't much point to this video just to share my annoyance of what a awkward and unnecessarily big job it is to replace the top screen in any of the DS's uh, except the original 2DS because that had one panel for both screens so if you broke the bottom one or you broke the top one uh, you just had to replace the whole LCD panel. But for any of the clamshell designed DS's that is the most awkward and time consuming repair I've done on, on DS's and I don't like doing it and if it was designed differently uh, they could have made that job so much easier. So that's, that is it, that is me just having a little rant. Uh, let me know what you think, if you've ever replaced a DS top screen you'll know what I mean. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.